I'm Dr. Kumarish Krishnamurthy. I'm a senior consultant at uh, Dr. Kumarish Ant Clinic and I also practice at Apollo Nova Hospital and also as Fortis. If a patient is overweight, he first needs to lose weight. Losing weight as less as even 2 kilos will make a difference in his overall well-being. If a patient is not able to do it for whatever may be the reason and if there are no underlying causes which can account for the weight loss like any hypothyroidism then we start the process. So if it is going to be in the nose it could be because of any septal deviation septum is a structure which separates the nose into right and left nostrils. It's very simple you put your finger you feel for it the midline structure which the firm structure which you feel is known as a septum and if it is deviated and if it is grossly deviated then surgery is a one and only option but there are indications and limitations of a laser not everyone is or are a candidate for laser so i will you know request my viewers to leave it to the specialist to decide whether a candidate for laser and then after the correction of septum if it's needed we have to correct some structures known as turbinates turbinates are structures on side of the nose which helps in breathing which helps you in filtering out the dust and bacteria and modulating the temperature air you breathe like you might have frequent cold but never frequent asthma or a chest infection that's thanks to these turbinates but when they swell they lose their function again the way to manage it is with the medications if they don't help you or if the patient needs to be on nose drops to give him relief and definitely needs to go in for a procedure known as turbinoplasty it's simple but the advantage is numerous the turbinoplasty can be either done with a laser or with a new equipment known as a coagulator both give the same result except the coagulator the healing is going to be faster but it's going to be slightly costly than the laser if it is in the throat it could be either because of an elongated uvula which is nothing but in layman terms what we call it is a small tongue the one which is hanging down from the mouth then could be because of the palate which if you lift up your tongue and push it hard on top you will see a bone that's known as hard palate beyond that you will see a soft structure that's known as a soft palate if they are thickened or if they are enlarged for whatever may be the reasons then you have to reduce it I do I use lasers or a coagulator over here and we use a procedure known as laser assisted uvula palatoplasty which is simple fast recovery and in the US and all that we used to do it as outpatient but here we do it in the operating room and one thing is we have to be extremely careful both with regard to the turbinoplasty as well as in this that you don't overdo it and cause problems to the patient they still having nose block you want to do the nose is really because it is like a condition known as intimus syndrome and that's where all the skin and how much to do comes in if the blockage is in a region known as a tongue base generally i do not operate because the advantage is minimal when compared to the disadvantages and then i send the patient for a sleep study and depending upon what we get i send them to see that Generally, I do not send patients for a sleep study or a CPAP because, in the long term, the compliance is extremely low. You know, it's like if you have a small child, the child thinks that you're an alien who is coming and sleeping next to you, and if it's your wife, you know, you can be very well sure that she is not going to like it. The fact that you are wearing a mask and lying next to her with a machine which is pumping in pressure. 